When it comes to quadcopters, the DJI Phantom series has always been one of the most talked about names. Well, they've just recently released the Phantom 4 and guess what? We think it may be the best consumer quadcopter on the market right now. If you're not familiar with quadcopters, then here's a quick refresher. Quadcopters, which are commonly referred to as drones or UAVs, refer to consumer flying aircrafts for recreational purposes. There are two main types, slower stable ones like the Phantom series designed for epic camera footage and faster more nimble ones designed for racing. The Phantom 4 falls into the first category but don't get the wrong idea, it's not slow. In fact, it's the fastest Phantom so far with a top speed of 44 miles per hour or 72 kilometers per hour in sport mode. It's also the smartest one so far as well with two obstacle sensors in the front and four vision positioning sensors on the bottom. While you won't be racing this drone, you will be using it as a tool to capture photographs and videos from perspectives that were previously impossible without actually hiring a helicopter, which would also be quite expensive. And even then, this little thing fits into a lot more places than a full-size helicopter could. We'll show you what we mean in a little bit, but first, let's start off with a tour of the quadcopter. The first thing you notice is the actual packaging it comes in. It's a nice surface-treated foam box that has a sturdy handle, locks closed, carries the quadcopter, extra blades, the charger battery, and all the various cables you need. If you're serious about filming in remote locations though, you'll still want to invest in a backpack since it's a bit awkward hiking with this thing. The Phantom 4 itself is powered by four motors with four blades on top. All of the computers and sensors and gyroscopes are hidden inside the tough plastic shell and it all sits on two sets of non-retractable landing gear. Everything is powered by a new 5,350 milliamp hour battery that offers up to 28 minutes of flight time and is more compact than the previous battery. Sitting underneath the Phantom 4 is one of the main reasons why this quadcopter is so amazing. The camera. It's a three-way gimbal stabilized camera that shoots up to 30 frames per second at 4K resolution. It records straight to regular micro SD cards and while they recommend UHS-1 speed cards, we had no problems using one at slowest class 10. The control is the same one as the Phantom 3, which is a good thing. Instead of some stupid Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connection, you can simply plug in your phone or tablet. This both minimizes the latency and can also keep charging your device. One little issue we ran into was the lack of an HDMI output. If you ever want to share a live feed of the drone, you will need to purchase a separate HDMI output module. But that should change soon as there are rumors that you will be able to live stream footage from your drone straight to Facebook. The outer shell is pretty reminiscent of the Phantom 3, but with the exception of two very important updates. The first one is the ventilation. There are no more air vents on the top of the drone. All the cooling has been moved to the underside, which help protect the drone in case it ever starts raining or something splashes on top. While the Phantom 4 is somewhat water resistant, it is by no means waterproof. We do not recommend flying it in the rain. Seriously, don't do it. The second big change is the blades. While they look similar, they use a brand new quick release system that is much, much better than before. In the past, you had to thread on the blade and then manually tighten it. When you were done flying and wanted to remove it, you'd have to use a small wrench in order to loosen up the blades again. Now, it literally clips on and off in seconds. No tools needed. And it's just as secure as before. Literally every drone needs something like this. Okay. Enough of the physical differences, on to the software. The DJI Phantom 4 still uses the DJI Go app, but it's been updated with two new features, Active Track and Tap Fly. Active Track isn't anything new. You simply draw a little square around the object you want to track, and the Phantom 4 will do its best to keep the camera pointed at your subject. It works well enough for someone riding a boosted board through New York, but anything faster and it often loses its subject. For the best results, you need to find a sweet spot where the drone is far enough away that your subject is easily identifiable, but close enough that it's not too small to track. While it does follow your subject, you can still help it out by manually controlling it so you can preemptively help aim it in the right direction. You can also have it track a stationary object like a parked car or statue and then simply fly the drone in a circle around it.